Jean Davis was 86. She was not terminally ill when she decided to end her life. But for years she had campaigned for the right to die, which she did on October the 1st after starving herself for five weeks. It was a long held belief of hers that people should have choices at the end of their life, that they shouldn't just be subject to medical intervention. As a nurse, her daughter Bronwyn was able to help care for her mother in those final weeks. She told me it was difficult, but she respects her mother's wishes. But the experience has led her to a different view, and she says the law should not change. I think if people realised that they could take matters into their own hands and choose to cut down on food and stop eating and stop drinking when they were ready to, that actually empowers people within the law as it stands. In the House of Lords this summer, there was a nine-hour debate when the assisted dying bill was given its second reading. Back then, one of the bill's most passionate supporters told us why he wants the law changed. The only option that I could undertake that wouldn't in any way implicate my wife or my children or friends would be to starve or to dehydrate myself to death. We ought to be giving people the option, people in my circumstance, not of a prolonged period of suffering because they cannot take any more, but the opportunity to drink medication that simply stops you breathing. But the bill, which will come back to the Lords next month, wouldn't allow Jean Davis to request an assisted death because she wasn't terminally ill. Baronessa Laura Finlay, advisor to the Welsh Government on palliative care, says a change to the law would be dangerous. The danger with changing the law is that we normalise. We say the norm becomes assisted suicide. We've seen that in Holland where their numbers are going up enormously. They've had nearly 5,000 euthanasias in the last year of their report. That's a huge number. And what we need to do in our society is say, no, our society is about caring. Bronwyn's mother had thought long and hard about her death, writing a book on the issues. Bronwyn says she wanted others to think long and hard too.